Hi there, how are you doing? Welcome to part 2 of Matplotlib tutorials. In the previous video, we went through the introduction and installation. We also plotted our very first line plot and set markers, colors, line styles, etc. In this video, we'll learn to create bar charts. Also, instead of reading data directly from list, we will extract our data from a CSV file. Follow along. Firstly, we will be creating a simple bar chart with the same data which we used in our first video. If you haven't watched the first video, watch it and come back to follow along. Let's start coding. First of all, we will import matplotlib. Then we will be using a style called ggplot and now copy the data from the snippets here instead of using plt.plot we will be using plt.bar ages total population we will be selecting a color blue and we will be giving it a label of total population We'll call the method pld.legend so that our legend will be shown. pld.x label h pld.y label total population pld.title age wise population of India. And finally, we'll call plt.show and save it. Now let's run the script. And here our bar chart is plotted. We can also add line charts to the bar charts. Let's copy the male population and female population from our snippets. And we will plot our line charts. plt.plot ages male population color is equal to green line style equal to dotted line marker is equal to dot and label is population similarly we will plot female population let's give it a red color let's give it a line style and marker o and here we will write female population now if we plot it here the blue bar shows the total population the red line shows the female population and the green one shows the male population in the same way, instead of the line charts, we can plot multiple bar charts. Instead of using plt.plot, we will be using plt.bar. And we won't be using line style and markers here. And here also we will be using plt.bar. And no line style or marker. Save it. And now let's run the code. Now here the red color shows the female population, the green one shows the male population and the blue one shows the total population. In this plot for each age range female population is less than male population and both of them are less than the total population. Hence we can distinguish between the data. But if the data is not linear like this it won't be possible to read data from the plot that effectively. To overcome this problem we will have to perform a little hack to place our bars in matplotlib chart side by side for better readability. For this we will be using numpy. Numpy will be installed automatically while installing matplotlib. If not you can install it by calling pip install numpy. Now we will import numpy as np and here we will placing each bar side by side 
and each bar be of a fixed width so we'll declare the width equal to 0 0.3 and in each bar we'll set width is equal to width now we'll create age indexes and that will be np dot a range length of ages now the total population will keep it in the center and the male population will move it to left to right and female and we will move it to the minus right now if we will plot it okay we have declared ages after this so we will move this line below this line now let's rerun it now it says age index is not defined we have set it age indexes now our bars are placed side by side but our x label is showing 0 2 4 6 8 instead it should be showing the age and we can set it right by going to a code and saying plt dot x ticks ticks is equal to age underscore indexes and we'll set its labels as our ages now if you will plot each bunch will show the age 12 13 14 15, 16, etc. Till now we were working with the data which was available with us in list format. Now we will download a CSV data and then pass it and plot it as bar graphs. I have downloaded the data from this. I will provide the link in the description below and saved it as data.csv file in our working folder. Now let us have a look at our data. I will be for now I will be commenting all of this out and then we will be importing CSV module with open data.csv as f csv underscore reader is equal to csv dot text reader f and row will be equal to next csv reader and print row let's print the row here each row is an order dict and it contains schemas data for each rpo what we'll be doing is we'll be reading through the whole data and we will be adding up year till date number for each scheme and then plotting it let's start coding so here what we'll do is we'll create an empty directory called scheme dict and now for row in csv underscore reader if row slash scheme type not in schemes underscore deck dot keys then schemes scheme is equal year till date else
so what we are doing here is if the scheme type is not in the scheme date then we are adding the value as it is and and if it is already there we are adding up the new value to the previous value now we will run it and have a look at the dictionary schemes underscore deck is not defined so here we have to say scheme deck scheme deck scheme deck so here we have this dictionary but this is not a sorted dictionary so first of all we will sort it using a lambda function like this sorted underscore scheme is equal to sorted scheme underscore dict dot item and key is equal to lambda key value minus key value now if we have a look at the sorted scheme it is now sorted in descending order if you have a closer look at this first few values are very high and next one are very small so if you will plot this data as it is then you won't be able to see it in a correct way so we will be emitting the large values and we'll be taking the next 10 values for our plots and so what we'll be doing here is we'll be creating an empty list called scheme and total number and then we will be adding the values from so item in sorted underscore schemes from 4 to 14 scheme dot append item 0 total underscore number dot append item 1 we have both x axis and y axis let's plot it plt dot bar scheme comma total number and plt dot x label plt dot y label is applications plt dot title is scheme wise passport applications and finally we will say plt dot show and if we run it we have this here the x sticks are not visible we can rotate them to some angle using plt dot x sticks let's go to our code and we'll be doing plt dot x sticks and we'll be rotating it to an angle of 90 degree and then we will plt dot tight layout and let's plot it again Now our plot is more readable and you can read all the scheme names and all the applications also. We can also create a horizontal bar by just using bar h instead of bar. Go to a code and here we'll be using bar h, saving it, going back and now let's plot it again. So this is our horizontal bar instead of the vertical one. This is it for this video. In the next video, we will learn about the pie charts. Hope you have enjoyed this video. If yes, please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button for being notified about the next video. There are various ways in which you can support our channel. The easiest one is to hit the thumbs up. In case of any doubt, please. Leave the comment below. Thanks for now. Bye-bye.